In this video, let us learn to draw the ER diagram for the topic online voting management system. So the first step to draw an ER diagram is we have to find out the entities. Entity is nothing but an object with physical or conceptual existence. So when you look into the term voting, voters will be there and candidate will be there for sure. So those two are entities. Otter is an entity because otter is a person and person is physically existing. Therefore, otter is an entity. An entity must be written inside a rectangular box. Next, candidate. Candidate is again a person. So person is physically existing. Therefore, candidate is an entity and entity must be written inside a rectangular box. So, I am writing the entity name candidate inside a rectangular box. Next entity is admin. Because when it is online voting, online means an admin should be there. Who will be able to look into the information of the voter and candidate. The admin will check whether the information of the voter is real and the information of the candidates are real or not. This admin will check in online. So admin is also a person. So person is physically existing. Therefore it is an entity. So I am writing it inside a rectangular box. So this is the first step and it is over. The next step is we have to write the corresponding attributes of every single entity. So first let us write the attributes of the entity admin. Attribute must be written inside oval shape. So admin. The first attribute is phone number. So in order to use any app. First you have to give the phone number. And then you will get an OTP. You have to enter that OTP. After entering the OTP. You will be asked to create a username and a password. You will be asked to create a username and password. After creating a username and password, whenever you want to enter into a particular app, you have to give the username, password and then a captcha will be shown to you. You have to enter that captcha and then you will be able to access into the app. So this admin will be able to access and look whether the information of voter and candidate are true or not. After entering the username, password and capture, this admin will be able to enter into the app and check. So phone number, the first step is you have to enter the phone number, then OTP will be generated. After entering the OTP, you will be asked to create a username, a password. After creating a username and password, whenever you want to get into the app, you have to enter the username, password and a captcha. And the captcha is just to know whether it is you or not, whether the human is operating or not. It is just to know whether it is a person, a real person or not. That's the reason why CAPTCHA is asked every time you log in. So username, password, CAPTCHA, you'll get into the app. Then you can, then the admin can look into the voters and candidates information and check whether it is true or not. So these are all the attributes of the entity admin. Another attribute you can add which is status. So whether the admin is currently using the app or not. If using the app then the status will be currently using. If it is not, if the admin is not using then currently not available will be the status of the admin. Admin is nothing but a person. Next let us look into the attributes of the entity author. So, otter will have a name. Otter is a common person, common people who are going to vote for the candidate. So, name. Name is further divided as 
first name middle name and last name if you are able to divide an attribute further then this attribute is known as composite attribute therefore this name attribute is known as a composite attribute because you are able to divide it further next is author id author id is very important and author id is unique so i have to underline this author id because it is a primary key now if 10 people are going to vote all the 10 people will be having unique author id no two persons will be having same author id all every single author will be having different you different and unique author id so since this is unique for all author id is known as a primary key next is phone number author can have more than one phone number also so i'm writing this inside double oval this phone number is known as multi value attribute now for example if the author is having three phone numbers three phone numbers means three values are there so multi value attribute so that is the reason why we are writing this inside double ovals next is address of the author this is an attribute next is date of birth of the author date of birth so from date of birth we can easily arrive the age of the author we have to write this age like this you have to draw a dotted circle dotted oval and write age inside it this age is known as derived attribute because from date of birth you are able to derive the age that is the reason why you are writing this age inside this dotted oval so that is the reason why it is known as derived attribute so these are all the attributes of the entity author next image of the author is also an important attribute so the image in the author id you will be having an image or in the aadhar card of the author you will be having an image that image should match with your current passport size image which you are uploading in the website so it should match so only if it is matching we can proceed further otherwise you cannot so image is also an important attribute so these are all the attributes of the entity author next let us look into the attributes of the entity candidate candidate will have a name which can be further divided as first name middle name and last name since you are able to divide this attribute further this name attribute is known as composite attribute next phone number of a candidate this must be written inside double ovals because it is a multi value attribute because the candidate can have more than one phone number now for example if the candidate is having two phone numbers two values are there so multi value attribute next is image of the candidate whoever is standing for the election their image is very important so the photo must be uploaded so it is very important next is position for which position the candidate is standing is it for mla position or chief minister position or what position the candidate is standing for that must be mentioned so that is an attribute of candidate next important attribute is candidate id every candidate will be having a unique id so i must underline this since this is a primary key now for example if five candidates are standing for the position of mla then all the five candidates will be having a different candidate id no two candidates will be having the same id 
all five will be having unique candidate id that is the reason why candidate id is a primary key and primary key must be underlined so i'm underlining the primary key candidate id so these are all the attributes of the entity candidate so we have completed two steps the first step is we have to find the entity and write them the second step is we have to write the corresponding attributes of every single entity and the last step is we have to join two entities by drawing a relationship so first you have to draw a line next a diamond box and then again a line then again a line diamond box and a line diamond box is known as relationship so here inside this relationship i'm going to write manages and inside this relationship i'm going to write oats so admin manages the otter then admin again manages the candidates too so admin manages otter admin manages candidate otter oats for the candidate so this is the flow admin manages otter and admin manages the candidate otter oats for the candidate so this is the flow for the online voting management system so like this you have to draw the er diagram for the topic given to you it is not necessary that everyone should be drawing this same diagram for this topic it will differ for each person it depends on the thoughts of each person so like this you have to draw the er diagram i hope you all understood this video if you like this video please like subscribe and share it with your friends thank you so much